with Falcon hockey coach Joe Cranston. And Joe, the Falcons up, opened up their 2011-12 season last weekend with a sweep of Adrian College, 5-2 and 5-3 at Hunter Arena last weekend. Could you talk a little bit about those games? Uh, well, it's really, I think it's just huge to get a sweep of Adrian early on and that we didn't have any non-conference games before that, having to play them. You know, I really think they were a good team. I was, uh, you know, hats off to them. They were a good team, much more disciplined uh, than they were a year ago. They were a lot faster team than they were. So looking back on the weekend um, to, to sweep them and get four points, I have a feeling that that's probably going to be, uh, it's, it's going to have a big impact on the way things end in late February. So just, it's really huge to get those four points. But on the other hand, don't think we played very well. You know, we played very undisciplined, very sloppy. Obvious, it was very obvious. It was our first couple games, but uh, you know, took way too many penalties. Uh, I talked last week about how that was such a big part of our success last year, and then to turn around and play that kind of sloppy, undisciplined hockey and take all those penalties. Um, so it ended up being a game of. A lot of special teams, and that's the worst thing we want to do early on with such a young team and not having freshmen in there working on that stuff yet. Joe, uh, Brooke Story, the sophomore forward out of War Road, was named the team's player of the week. Um, had two great games, uh, picked up four assists in the two games. Could you talk about Brooke's play a little bit? She was probably the hardest worker on our team. You know, it always comes down to that, or usually does, but, you know, Brooke Story is just so, is, she's just getting better all the time. and the, the, thing about Brooke last year, I think about mid-season, she had eight goals and no assists. And uh, so it was something when she, find, when she finally had that assist last year, it was pretty fun. Uh, we joke about it. We were joking about it and stuff. But when you look at this year to come in and get four assists opening weekend, it just shows that she has her head up more than she had last year and really a playmaker. And, you know, she set up just a beautiful, our last goal of the first game over to to Bree Drew just slid it over to her nice, but she's just working hard. And not only getting the four assists, she just dominated uh, defensively too by ragging pucks when we needed to kill some time and do some things there. So just a great effort by Brookie. Looking ahead, Joe, the Falcons are on the road now in NCHA series at St. Scholastica on Friday and Saturday. Well, what are you looking for this weekend? Uh, I think they're going to be a better team. You know, they swept Eau Claire. Um, in Eau Claire, so this is uh, this is their first um, home series. Uh, so I think they're they're going to be an improved team. Um, I know they gave Eau Claire all they could handle, obviously by sweeping them, but they'll be a good team. They're going to be faster. They have some new kids on their team that are give them a you know a little more depth than they had last year. And they you know last year they were all freshman team. Uh, obviously a lot of growing pains and, and a lot of things that come along with having such a young team. So I think the fact that they're going to be a year older, um, they're, they're just going to be that much better. And last year, you know, we played them both times were very close games, one goal games. So we're going to have to be playing a lot better than we did last weekend if we're going to expect to go up there and, and uh, get four points. Joel, good luck to the Falcons and we'll talk to you next week.